I've just spent the last two weeks working for a new project manager. Not a human one, but an artificial intelligence project manager. This is an experiment that I created and I wanted to see if it would lead to better, faster outcomes in how projects are delivered and if the AI could be a more effective project manager than a human. But my experiment had stakes. If it all went wrong and the project failed, I would have to own the outcome. But if it went well, this could impact the very future of my profession. You may have noticed that artificial intelligence is being used everywhere these days, from transforming industries to influencing our daily lives. AI is reshaping the future in ways we never imagined. The development of computer systems that can perform tasks typically requiring human intelligence clearly provides huge opportunities, including things like learning from data, recognizing patterns, understanding natural language, and making decisions. We now have computers that appear to possess the ability to think and learn, enabling them to perform complex tasks more efficiently and accurately than ever before. Isn't it clever? But the big question for us today is, can AI truly replace the role of a project manager? I asked my LinkedIn network if they thought it was possible, and the response was that AI is very useful, but not capable of replacing a human project manager yet, or maybe ever. And this was my assumption too, but I wanted to experiment and find out. For the last two weeks, I've been pushing the ChatGPT AI to the limit because I made it the boss. It's been appointed by me to be the project manager of my new project. I'm just the delivery team and I'm doing as I'm told. Essentially, it's the brains and I'm the hands. My project goal was to build and launch a new product, a project management course for project managers who are working without a team. I'd completed scripts for the video lessons about two months ago, but I've struggled to find the time and focus to do anything else with them. I've been so busy, I've barely had the mental bandwidth to even think about what's next. So I've handed control to the machine. Let's see how it went. I started off by getting the AI to create a project charter and a plan. This involved me having to explain a lot about what I'm doing, the goals, my background, and so on. I needed to clarify a few points, such as the amount of videos this course would involve making, that the scripts had already been completed, that the scope included marketing, and that I wasn't prepared to work on weekends. It took three attempts to get the charter up to my expectations, though those three attempts only took minutes rather than hours. So it's able to adapt, improve, and provide a useful product much quicker than a human project manager ever could. That said, I wondered whether the tool was capable of providing realistic estimations for timescales. Could it really understand how human performance with its peaks and troughs could translate into a project schedule? Well, there are plenty of naive human project managers out there that make this mistake all the time, but could the machine do better? Unfortunately, the timelines it created looked really challenging, and I was worried. It seemed to think I could record the entire course in just three days. I also had to recognize my own shortcomings. I knew the project needed a bigger team, not on the delivery side, but as subject matter experts. So I asked ChatGPT to create some personas that would provide expert advice. These personas were based on marketing expert Jeff Walker for product launch advice, investor and business thought leader Naval Ravikant for strategy, and a few days later, I created a persona based on the entrepreneur Alex Hormozzi for discussing pricing models. These personas would be the project SMEs and my advisors. Next, I wanted to see a detailed project plan. The AI created one in seconds based on the details agreed in the charter, and it looked mostly okay to me. The project manager has just created its project plan, and it wants me to create, it wants me to record 50 lessons in three days and then edit them in the next three days. I've had demanding bosses before, <laughs> so I'm gonna to try to meet this one's expectations. The plan also set a target launch date of 4th of October. So I decided to trust the AI as much as I would trust a human project manager, and I publicized the date on social media. I did this to generate some excitement for the upcoming launch, but it was also to light a fire under myself. I'd raised the stakes for myself and I didn't want the project to fail publicly. Next, I needed some advice on the pricing model and I asked the persona based on Alex Hormozzi to discuss pricing. After it initially suggested that I charge between £300 and £1,000 for the course, 
I told the AI that my priority in pricing is accessibility to anyone who needs the course, and ideally, to gain recurring revenues from a membership site. On that basis, I'd like customers to pay what they want, with my Patreon members getting it for free. I was interested to see if the AI would rubbish the idea, but it actually got on board with it. Whilst initially reassuring that my idea had merit, I'm not convinced this is the line that Hormoz is thinking would actually follow. He'd much more likely recommend finding ways to increase the value of the course until I was comfortable charging hundreds or thousands for it. If I was dealing with the actual Hormozy, I think he'd strongly object to this strategy, which left me wondering if the personas were reliable representations, or more worryingly, was the AI just too agreeable to hold its ground? If so, how would we view that trait in a human project manager? Could we trust a character like that with a vital project? I'd like you to keep in mind that all of what I've described here happened in a short amount of time. These discussions were incredibly fast. The slowest part was me reading and considering what was being shared with me. So from a speed and productivity perspective, the AI was amazing. And interestingly, it was able to remember the discussions that we'd had from day to day. I'd just start each day saying, we're back and working on the project, and it would recap some of the previous information, which was really reassuring. I didn't have to waste time reminding it what we're doing and what we're trying to accomplish and how far we'd got. But I was starting to have a greater worry about one important attribute of project managers that was likely to impact its ability to manage a project. The AI seemed indecisive. We had a discussion about whether the course content should be published all at once or dripped to users over a number of weeks. Both approaches have merit. Neither is right or wrong, and encouragingly, the AI took on the roles of the personas we'd created to provide pros and cons on each approach, leading me to conclude that the best way forward was to publish it all at once. But the AI didn't make a recommendation or a decision here. Despite being told it was in charge, it couldn't make a final decision. It just kept coming back to me to make the final choice. This problem continued after I asked the AI to create a risk register based on the risks it had identified in the charter, which it did in a very simplistic style, but now it included a number of risks related to the drip approach. So I asked it outright, should we use the drip approach or not? And its decision was interesting. This time it made a recommendation to use a hybrid model, releasing 10 lessons up front to satisfy students immediately, and then drip the remaining lessons over the next few weeks. Yet again, it didn't make a decision, just a recommendation, which this time I declined, and I said I wanted the course to be ready on day one. Finally, we get out of the planning stage and into execution, and I started to record video lessons for the course and run straight into a big problem. Each video lesson was scripted to be between four to six minutes in length. Using a teleprompter to read scripts would save a lot of time in recording and editing, but it still takes about twice as long to record as the intended final video, which led to fatigue. I recorded nine videos on the first day and I was exhausted. I was worried that by the time I'd completed the last two videos that my performance had lost all its energy and it was just poor. I discovered that attempting to record all videos in three days and then move into a three day editing period wasn't going to be the most effective way forward. Batching is a great way to get things done. So I'm not surprised that a machine would think this was the way to do it but it failed to consider energy levels, fatigue, and its impact on motivation. So I'm at the end of day two of recording. Um, there's supposed to be three days of recordings and I've, I've given it my best, but I've only managed to complete 16 recordings. So I'm off track. Uh, it's not progressing well. I have no idea how an AI project manager will respond. To be honest with you, with a human project manager, you may not always get a great response, but with the AI, I don't know what it's going to do. Is it going to recommend replanning? Is it going to change the order in which we do things? It's going to be interesting to find out what it, what it suggests. I realized that I was deviating from the AI project manager's plan. So I wondered how it was going to respond. Would it try to encourage me to continue? Or would it suggest ways to overcome the negative feelings I was experiencing? Instead, it just accepted the situation, which was nice from the sense that the project manager wasn't giving me a hard time. But again, it raised the question of whether it was just too agreeable to accomplish anything. I asked the AI to write a project status report that detailed the progress to date, 
it did a pretty good job, though it selected a few RAG status components that were very specific to the project, such as recording and editing, rather than universal ones like scope and cost. On day three, I realized I wasn't gonna be able to do everything I intended by the launch date. And I asked the AI what we should do from a project governance perspective. It correctly suggested a change request to adjust the scope or timelines was necessary. At my urging, it then created a change request within seconds to reduce the scope of the project from 50 lessons to 25. I had advertised the course completion date, but not the number of planned lessons. So this felt less impactful than moving the launch date. Besides, I can, and will record those missing lessons and upload them in the future. But take a moment to consider this. A human project manager would have agonized over this decision. There's no way they could just halve the scope of their project output so easily. This decision hurts me, even though I have to accept it's the right one. But the AI has no emotional investment in the work. And whilst that can have its upsides, no one wants a project manager who doesn't to some extent care about the outcomes of their work. I asked for the plan to be updated to reflect that I wanted to spread out the recording over several days and overlap it with the editing work, which it did, but something unexpected happened. For some reason, it couldn't update or recreate the original plan it had generated. Until now, its memory had been really reliable, but it wasn't able to fully recall how it had done it before in its previous actions. Eventually, I had to feed in its previous version in order for it to create something similar. As I got involved in the grunt work of recording and editing, I discovered other strengths and weaknesses in the AI project manager. A major, if obvious weakness, is its inability to critique the outputs. I'd made a batch of videos where the lighting wasn't quite right, and it's only thanks to me doing the overlapping recording and editing that I was able to correct the issue for later videos. But the AI project manager couldn't have identified that. On the other hand, it helped me to draft a lot of email communication and posts relating to the course launch. I can't tell you how much I struggle with the sales aspect of the business. It's not something that comes naturally, so I'm just much happier to build a course and give it away to my members. So having a tool that helps me to draft messages that don't align with my natural preferences was, to be honest, really helpful. So did the project succeed? Yes, in the sense that the one person project team course was launched and meets the needs of its target audience. Project managers who work without a team. It's freely available now to my membership so you can check that out at patreon.com slash influential PMO. But was it the AI project manager that made the difference? The truth is it helped a bit. It helped a lot with creating documentation, communications drafts, and having a sounding board for difficult decisions. But it didn't take command. It couldn't make decisions, so it never really managed the project. But the biggest failing, and maybe the most obvious one, is the tool is passive. It's dormant until you input something into it. If you forget to update it for a few days, it won't come and chase you for updates. It's not messaging you at the end of the day to see how things went, and it can't intervene to overcome blockers. But this weakness may be on the verge of being overcome. During the project, I attended a Gartner webinar where they explained that automated AI is likely to hit the market in about two to 10 years. That's an AI that doesn't passively wait for inputs, it just acts. And yes, that does mean it will have to make decisions. And maybe that's the point when the AI can start to be a really effective project manager. And don't tell me we can't replace human interactions. We're already dealing with AI chatbots that resemble humans. They're so clever, they're programming the bots to pause before replying to give you the impression that a human is reading and thinking. And there are guys out there that are using AI girlfriend apps. Sad as it may be, if they can replace the most intimate relationships in their lives with AI, how long do you think it will take before a project manager's stakeholder engagement and relationship building skills are successfully replicated? Until then, it's a great member of the team. Use it on your projects to create first drafts or documents or to come up with solutions to problems you're experiencing or even to offer some advice in the style of a trusted advisor. Or maybe you can use its ability to look at huge amounts of complex project data to carry out analysis and generate new content, like the tool that Keto Software demonstrated to me last year. And if you haven't seen that already, then please take a look at it. It's amazing. <laughs>